In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the array formula function in Google Sheets. The array formula function will let you apply a formula to an entire column or range of cells by using a single formula in a single cell. So there's actually a lot of different ways to use the array formula function. So I'm going to show you quite a few different examples in this video. So first, let's start off simple. Here in cell C2, we have a very, very simple formula, which is simply a cell reference. In cell C2, we are referring to cell A2 by telling Google Sheets equals A2. So we're displaying the contents of cell A2 in cell C2. So what we're going to do is apply this formula to the entire column so that we don't have to copy and paste the formula downwards where there would be an individual formula in each cell. And so how I'm going to do this is drag my cursor into the formula bar to modify the formula that's already there. And what I'm going to do is after A2, I'm going to type a colon and then type A because I want to refer to the entire range A2 through A. But as you'll see, if I don't include the array formula function, Google Sheets will not display the entire column like I want it to. And so I'm going to press enter even though my formula is not currently correct. And it did not act like I wanted it to. And that's because I haven't used the array formula function yet. And so I'm going to modify the formula again. And right before the range that I typed, I'm going to type array formula. And I'm going to type a parenthesis and press enter. And now you can see that Google Sheets has applied this reference formula to the entire column. And we're now displaying all of the names from column A and column C. And we only had to use one formula to do it. And again, it's because we used the array formula function. Now, just like with copying and pasting formulas downwards or to the right, you can also use the array formula function for rows instead of columns. So here in cell B3, we have the formula equals B1. We are referring to cell B1 in cell B3, which is why both of them say 1-1-2019. We want to display all of the dates from row 1 in row 3. And we don't want to have to copy and paste this formula to the right in this example. So we're going to use array formula to apply this formula to the entire row. So I'm going to modify my formula. I'm going to type array formula and a parenthesis. And then after B1, I'm going to type colon 1 so that I'm referring to all of row 1. Now I'm going to press enter. Now Google Sheets is showing us all of the dates from row 1 in row 3. We are referring to row 1 in row 3 by using a single formula. So before we move on to using the array formula function with more complex formulas other than just cell references, I'm going to show you how to use this function to refer to data on another tab, or in other words, to pull data from another tab. And so here on this tab, we just have raw data without any formulas. We simply have first names in column A and last names in column B. And we're going to use the array formula function to pull the data from this tab and display it on another tab. So here in cell A3, we already have a formula that's referring to the tab with the raw data on it, but it's only referring to one cell. And before we add the array formula function, let's make sure that you understand how this current formula is working. And so just like any normal cell reference, we include the cell that we are referring to, which is cell A3, but we've indicated that we are referencing a different tab by including the tab name and an exclamation point before the cell reference. So we're telling Google Sheets, display the contents of cell A3 from the list tab. So now just like when we were using this formula earlier, if I modified this formula and I put colon B so that I was trying to refer to range A3 through B from the list tab, it still would not work because I need an array formula function. 
And so before my reference, I'm going to type array formula and a parenthesis, and then press enter. And now Google Sheets is displaying two columns of data from another tab by using a single formula. So we're telling Google Sheets display columns A through B from the list tab starting at cell A3. And so the array formula function makes it very easy to take data from one tab and connect it to another tab without having to use lots of different formulas. So another very popular way of using the array formula function is to combine entire columns of first and last names. So here in cell D3, I've already entered a formula that's combining the last name and the first name from columns B and A. And so again, before we apply the array formula function, let's make sure that you know how this formula is working. And by now you're probably seeing the pattern of how to use the array formula function. One of the easiest ways to use it and not get confused is to enter your normal formula into the first cell of the range, make sure that that formula works just like you want it to, and then wrap your current formula in the array formula function and change your cell references to range references. And so that's exactly what we're doing here. We have our normal formula entered first, and then we turn it into an array formula function. So in cell D3, we have a formula that says equals B3 and quotation mark, comma, space, quotation mark, and A3. And so we're telling Google Sheets to combine column B with column A, but to put a comma and a space between it. And the important thing here is the and symbol. The and symbol allows you to combine strings of text or the contents of cells. So now let's turn this into an array formula function so that we can combine the first and last names for the entire column. So now I'm going to modify my formula by typing array formula at the very beginning of the formula. And I'm going to type a parenthesis. I'm going to change the cell reference B3 to a range reference by adding colon B. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the reference A3. I'm going to type colon A so that I'm telling Google Sheets to refer to the entire column starting at row three. And now we've combined the first and last names from columns A and B in column D, again, by using a single formula. All right, so you can also use the array formula function to perform mathematical calculations on entire columns or entire rows. And so here in cell D3, we have a basic addition formula entered, which is A3 plus B3. Add the number from cell A3 to the number in cell B3. And again, if we wanted, we could copy and paste this formula downwards. And sometimes it actually makes more sense to have individual formulas, such as when you're using the count if function. But in this case, we want to use one formula to add the numbers down the entire column. So I'm going to modify the formula by typing array formula and a parenthesis. I'm going to change A3 to A3 colon A, and B3 is going to change to B3 colon B. And now we're adding the numbers down the entire column, 100 plus 1, 100 plus 2, row 5, 6, 7, and so on. And now let's do the same thing for the multiplication function. So we're telling Google Sheets to multiply column A by column B. And if you didn't already know, an asterisk is what you use when you're multiplying in Google Sheets or in a spreadsheet. And now we're multiplying the numbers from columns A and B all the way down the column in each row. All right, so you can also use the array formula function to add entire tables of data. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to effectively stack these tables on top of each other from columns A and B, D and E, G and H. We're going to basically stack them on top of each other and add up the numbers. So in column J, we want to display the sum of the numbers from columns A, D, 
and g, and in column k, we want to display the sum of numbers from columns b, e, and h. And so in this case, rather than putting a simple formula first and then applying the array formula function, I'm just going to write the entire formula at once, which is what you'll likely end up doing once you've used the formula a few times and you get used to it. So I'm going to type equals array formula parentheses to begin my function. Then I'm going to type a3 colon b, which is referring to this first table here in columns A and B. Then I'm going to type plus D3 colon E. So I'm telling Google Sheets to add these two different tables together. Add column A to column D and add column B to column E. Then one more time, I'm going to type a plus sign and then I'm going to type G3 colon H. So now I've told Google Sheets to add all three of these tables together. Now I'm going to press enter. And as you can see, the formula has done exactly what we wanted it to. A plus D plus G is three. B plus E plus H is six. And if you want, you can add tables or ranges of data together, just like we did here but with much bigger ranges or entire sheets of data. And this comes in very handy sometimes. All right, so for the last example, I'm gonna show you how to use the array formula function with the if function. The array formula function can be applied to almost any formula. So here in cell C3, we have an if function that's showing us the word passing if the grade in column B is a passing grade, and it shows the word fail if the grade in column B is failing. And so in other words, we're telling Google Sheets, if B3 is greater than 60%, display the word passing. If not, display the word fail. But right now, this is only a simple formula applied to a single cell, and we want to apply this formula to the entire column. So just like we've been doing, I'm going to modify my formula by typing array formula at the very beginning. Then I'm going to type a parenthesis. Then I'm going to change the cell reference B3 to B3 colon B so that I'm referring to the rest of the column or the entire column starting at row three. And if I want, I could just press enter right now and Google Sheets will add the extra parenthesis at the end like I've been doing. But when I'm using multiple functions like this, I like to make sure that I place my ending parenthesis in the exact location that I want. And so I'm going to type another parenthesis at the end of the function to end the array formula function. Then I'm going to press enter. And now our if function has been applied to the entire column. And by using a single formula, we're able to create this indication of passing or failing for the entire column. So if you want to learn more about using the array formula function, I've linked the article for this video below. Or you can also check out my video where I show you how to copy and paste formulas and how to use autofill to fill formulas in Google Sheets.